students, how are you? I hope you are well, by the grace of Allah. Dear students, today we will discuss about uh, some MCQs from chapter 7. Our dear students, our first question is, Coralloid roots are formed by bacteria Anamena fungi. Which one is correct? You know, coralloid roots are formed by Nostoc Anamena bacteria. So, our correct answer is 1 and 2. A. Our next question is, what type of varnation found in young leaf of cycas? You know, cycas have sarcinid varnation like fern. This is the sarcinid varnation of fern and this is the sarcinid varnation of cycas, young leaves of cycas. Our next question is, which one is used for producing shagu and wine? You have to memorize the economic importance of cycas. If you memorize those portions, then you can easily answer it. So, our answer is cycas. Our next question is, large and spiny pollen grains are found in Poesy, Malvasi, Liliasi, Solanesi. Dear students, in your book, in chapter 7, only two families are available, Poesy and Malvasi. If you memorize those characteristics, then you can easily answer this question. So, large and spiny pollen grains are available in Malvasi family. Our next question is, flowers are sessile, irregular and have lodigules. In which plant? Maize, jute, hibiscus, datura. Now you memorize the characteristics of poesy and malvesi and the uh, economic importance of poesy and malvesi. So now you can uh, answer this question. Its correct answer is maize. Our next question is Lodicules are seen in which plant? Our correct answer is rice, oatmeal. All are correct answers. So, our correct answer is D. Our next question. The above individuals is covered with leaves, leaf bases, scale leaves. Which one is correct? This individual is a cycus plant. So, in cycus plant, we know uh, there are leaves, scale leaves and leaf bases also. So our correct answer is D. Then what is the cause of formation? Coralloid roots in cycas, virus, bacteria, nematodes, worms. Correct answer is bacteria. Which one has only one living species in the world? Only one living species is cycas. Then observe the stem and answer to the questions now 9 and 10. The estivation is shown in A is this estivation is twisted. Dear students, you have to memorize the definition of imbricate estivation, definition of vaxillary estivation, definition of a queen conchial estivation and valvet twisted, twisted valvet also. In this uh, floral diagram, the placentation X is, you know, this placentation is XI. Our next question is the characteristics of gymnosperm. Perennial, evergreen, sporophyte, which one is correct? You know, all these answers are correct. So our correct answer is D. The endosperm of cycles is haploid, you know it. Our next question is, feathery stigma is present in P. hibiscus wheat puppy. You know, wheat is the uh, plant under poesy family. So, feathery stigma present in poesy family. So, our correct answer is wheat. In which plant coralloid root found? You know its correct answer is cycas, which one is not applicable for malvesi. Not applicable. 
stem is mucilous. It's applicable for malvasy. Spiny pollen is applicable for malvasy. Numerous anther is also applicable for malvasy. So, which one is not applicable? Versatile anther. Yes, you have to memorize the characteristics of Poesy family, malvasy family, and their economic importance also. Then you can answer those questions. Okay. Okay, dear students. Our next question is identifying characters of poesy is caryopsis fruit, free lateral stipules in leaves, cylindrical stem. So our correct answer is one and three. Caryopsis fruit and cylindrical stem. What type of placentation of China rose? You know, it's exile. Which of the following called the living fossil? You know its correct answer is cycas. What type of inflorescence in rice is? You know this correct answer is a spikelet. Then here is a stem. Observe the stem and answer the following questions. Following three questions. A man of roadside camping to the people by showing a part of plant look like a hood of snake and said that if any person carries any part of this structure no snake should attempt to beat him actually that man made a fake story of those people so the question is the snake or hood, snake hood like a structure of the stem is folios leaves. Then characteristics of the root of the plant are, we know this is the cycas plant. So the root characteristics is the main tap root has a short life. Yes, is correct answer. The main root replaced by some secondary adventitious roots. Is also correct answer. Main root infected by bacteria to form it into coralloid roots. So it's also correct answer. So our correct answer is 1, 2 and 3. D. Our next question is in Poesy family, pollen sac is versatile. Inflorescence is, is a spikelet, fruit is capsule, habit is shrub. No, our correct answer is inflorescence is a spikelet. What is the ploidy number of endosperm of gymnosperm? Yes, its ploidy number is haploid because endosperm is formed before fertilization. And another question is, what is the ploidy number in endosperm of angiosperm? Yes, then correct answer is triploid, 3M. Because endosperm is formed after fertilization by the union of secondary nucleus with gamete, male gamete. Okay, our next question is, which are the characters of gymnosperm? Double fertilization occurs? No, it's not correct answer. Endosperm is haploid? Yes, it's, it's correct. Fruit doesn't develop? Yes, it's also correct. So, our correct answer is 2 and 3. Our next question is, male reproductive organ of cycas is strobulus in gymnosperm. Double fertilization doesn't occur. Is correct answer. Dilem vessels absent. Is also correct answer. Endosperm is deployed. No, it's not correct answer. So our correct answer is one and two. Here is a figure of megasporophyll. So the figure of the stem is megasporophyll. After fertilization, if the converted marked A, A, A is ovule, A part is covered, then the dissimilar is 
with the plant is endosperm, archegonia, sporophytic plant. One and two are the correct answer. Dear students, from a chapter, the main objective questions would be seen from uh, the characteristics, the economic importance, and the examples. So, if you memorize those portions, and if you memorize the answer for creative questions, then I think you can answer every MCQs from our chapter. So, dear students, read properly, memorize properly, and then everything is easy to you. Thank you to stay with us. Thank you.